Okie dokie. So let's talk about where we are right now. I did the front cover. I did their eyeballs. I made another person. This is going to be balloons. I put some little guys, the tiny, tiny guys with the medium paper doll heads on. Did some ephemera. Oh, put uh, paper on the back to make it look pretty. Uh, made these guys, a couple little edge guys. This couple turned out amazing. Did the kind of um, fortune teller stuff. And then our garage lady. And I paint, and I... um. I painted in here, but I really don't like that. So I want to get some, to start out with, some washi tape. And I just bought Tim Holtz Skinny Washi Tape. Look at that. So, let's see what we want on there. We have, oh, I can put a couple kinds. I think I want this black for sure. Okay. And I have not decided what to do with this. All right. Let's. Ooh, this skinny tape is perfect. Let's move it down a tiny bit. There we go. Over to here. Oh, that is so much better. We'll go down here. A little bit of that color peeking out is not bothering me, but a bunch of it was not my jam. And this might, oh, ooh, that's fancy. This will go right over the edge. Okay, there we go. Good job, me. And we'll probably use some more of that in the embellishing phase, but I just couldn't have that stuff stuck, sticking out looking not cute. Okay, so today what we're going to be using is embossing glaze. And there's another insert, two inserts. Embossing glaze and crayons. So let me get my embossing thingies. Oh, I moved my embossing. I moved my office around, so everything's kind of kerfuffly. So I like the Versamark embossing pad the best. So we might do something with that. But I use the pens the most. that's a good pen and I have my old lady glasses so we're gonna start with like a glue let's see if we can get a little bit of that glue off sorry for my big old melon okay he has purple eyes and we're gonna use so this is really dark purple and this is a lighter purple so we have oh my goodness this is villainous potion and this is wilted violet so we're going to make him very purpley because of his purple eyes. And I have this cool tray. So I use my embossing tray all the time. You don't need an embossing tray, but if you would like one, they're like $7 on Amazon. And if I had to pick one thing that has helped my embossing life, that costs $7, it would be that embossing tray. I think I'm gonna do his little collar here too, and his shirt. In that wilted violet. Okay. It's so funny, I hate coloring, but I love embossing, which is functionally coloring with little plastic pieces there we go 
And I never worry about pouring out tons of it because I just use my little tray. Oh, we got a sticker. Well, a lot of that got stuck around. So we need a little paintbrush with kind of a stiff, bristle because if you have embossing powder anywhere it's gonna and you put the heat on it it's gonna emboss it right on there and I don't want him to have a purple face I don't want his sweet pea to have a purple face no purple faces Let's see how it looks now And I am not a super fussy crafter by any stretch of the imagination. I'm kind of a live and let live kind of gal. Okay, let's do this and then we will see where we're at. Okay, pretty. And the cool thing about this embossing glaze, we gotta let this dry for a second. Let's make one of her flowers purple too. So she can hang out with her sweet pea. That should be dry now. I want to get closer to this brim right there. Oh, maybe that is the brim. It won't matter because I'm going to do the other part of it purple too. There we go. Got too many things in my hands. I think I'm having trouble because I'm not actually tapping that part of it. I'm tapping the um, edge of the book. So we're not getting as much um, tappage. I know that isn't a word. I'm just trying to kind of knock those things loose. Okay, we've got a little bit around his eye that I don't want. And the rest I think I can live with. Oh, it looks like we're gonna have a lot on her flower. And because it's translucent, you'll see sometimes it'll um, kind of add to it which I'm fine with. I want my stuff to be kind of interesting looking. Okay, so now let's do his hat in the dark purple, which is Villainous Potion, which is just the most amazing color. And I guess I could use a dauber, or I think there is a Ranger brush embossing pen, but I don't mind doing this. I'm going to come along his brim here. There we go. We got to put our purple in here, wilted violet. 
usually I bang it on the floor, but today I don't have any carpet since I moved. I try not to bang it too much, and I don't mind if the purples mix. There we go. All right, now let's get the purples off of his face and off of her face. Oh, look how beautiful that color is. Oh, that's just glue. This is part of the reason it's sticking so much is that I have glue everywhere. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And it might not be as pretty on the camera, but in real life, it's just shiny and colorful and hard. And I like it. Okay, let's do purple inside his vest and maybe his pants. We're going to give him a different color suit jacket. And I am going to be magazining collage this, meaning I'm going to be painting stripes and stuff on here. So he'll be very fancy, don't you worry. Oh, fancy. Where'd my brush go? Oh, hiding on the side. Okay, let's get his hand out here. Let's get his flowers out. Not on his face. Okay. Oh, he's just so dapper and dandy. So pretty. Okay, so now let's think about... What do we want to do with her? Let's go with... Ooh, she's got kind of a, ooh, she's got a cummerbund sort of thing on. How fun, we can make that part of her purplishness. So she matches him. Nice people who leave their paintbrushes in the paint water too long sometimes have their brush tips fall off. Okay, let's make her dress. Let's see, we have a bunch of pretty colors. She could be pink, they could be a very pink and purple, but I was thinking, do I have a cute, like citron green? Oh, I have that pretty blue. There it is. Do I want her to be, yeah, purple and green, yes. Okay, we have to put away our Villainous Potion. And if you feel like your embossing powders are getting mixed together, you can just put it in and give a shake and the couple little pieces won't make any difference in the world. Okay, that's a lie. It might make a huge difference to me, it doesn't, or to you, it doesn't bother me at all. Okay, she's gonna have a bright green dress. Snaggy glues all over. So what I might do is do one set of this with one layer and then double up a layer on the darker parts, right? Because that will make it look darker. That could be fun. We're going to try to sculpture with the uh, embossing glaze. And we had very limited colors up until now. There were very muted colors. And then this last time, Tim Holtz put out a set of six pretty bright colors. They're still his colors, but they picked all the bright colors in the... I feel like I'm missing a little bit up in here. Maybe, maybe take that piece of glue oog off. Uh-oh. I'm actually digging into the thing now, so let's not do that. An embossing pen is usually glycerin, and it's just sticky. That's what its job is to be. All right, I haven't used this, so this, oh, this is an exciting day. That is a bright color. Here we go, she's all covered up. Ooh, 
we got a couple of little... I like when there's things missed like that because to me that feels like um, makes it look more natural and real, but you might want to go back over. But again, if you double up the translucence, it will get a little darker, which I'll show you here in just one second. dresses okay that looks great and that's the thing with the embossing glaze because it's translucent you can see the dimension of her dress through there it's still a little warm give it a sec don't be so impatient so we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna go in the part where there's like wrinkles and make them a little darker. With another layer of embossing powder. So we'll do her arm and the separation of her arm and her arm and the separation of her arm but i'm also going to paint this this really is just the background for me okay here we go green face. Okay, and that looks ridiculous right now, right? Wait till we melt it. Oh my goodness. You're going to love this. So pretty. That really is pretty. Oh, I think I got it on her cummerbund though. Hmm. I don't know. I might have to come back in on there, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. What other color screen do I have? What other colors do I have? Well, I have a pretty yellow. I love fossilized amber. I think I'm going to do his coat in fossilized amber because purple and yellow are complementary colors so that will look super pretty now i will try to get the green out of here oh pretty good lots of pink in there all right cover this up i think i see a part i missed a whole bunch of it That one came off a lot better. I feel like we've got a little bit right here where there's a big missing spot. There we go. Okay. And we emboss. That is super pretty. We still have that missing spot. Okay, now I feel like she might have blonde hair, so we're going to give her some blonde hair up in here. You won't see much of it, but 
And let's get that spot done real quick. Where's my, why did I put my lid on? Boop, boop. Right there. Okay, there we go. No yellow on her face or her eyes. I don't know. I just find embossing so pretty and fun. Okay. Now, I'm not doing this whole book with you. <laughs> I'm going to emboss a bunch of stuff. I'm going to emboss her hat. I'm going to emboss all of him. So the thing I want you to realize is that as we did each piece, you might go, oh, that didn't look good. Oh, that didn't look good. But as you go through... Um, it's the culmination of all of it. I am going to be doing a ton of embossing and painting. And I will be back to show you what I did. Okay. I have to say this is one of my more ridiculous ideas, but I love it. It took me forever. Um, so she's all embossed with a striped shirt, her hat. I embossed the balloons and the balloon tails. I left most of the, th I embossed the trees. I didn't emboss these guys at all. I haven't done anything with them yet. Um, little embossing on some of these side pieces. Did the, um, the couple, like this is hickory smoke. This is prize ribbon. This is broken china. I did go ahead and emboss the house. This is um, Kitsch Flamingo and the new Bright Pink. Um, love how this turned out. They, these guys are probably half of my favorite. Um, I'm going to be doodling on her hat. This is the ridiculous part. So I did all of their... Oh, it looks like I need a couple more shoesies done. We'll see if I do those. Um, I did all of their outfits. I did all of their hats. I did her dress, all of the banners in the embossing. I embossed the sign. I embossed this lady and this here. And then I realized the embossing gun was um, really hurting the plastic. So I stopped embossing there. This is my other favorite. Look at how the car turned out. It looks just like... It's a whole car, right? You can't tell that I jury-rigged a car into there. I want to put um, some blue in there. So I'm going to do a ton of doodling tonight. You'll have to see that in the next video. But, um, but you can see all of the embossing I did today. And I just think it turned out wicked cute. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.